Hi friends and welcome back to Hobi Cali. I am so happy that you are here because today we have a breakthrough topic that I know you are going to benefit from. But before we get into it, if you're new here, make sure to like this video by giving it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any video suggestions for next week and make sure to subscribe because I am uploading such valuable and informational content every single week for you every single Wednesday and also be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Hobaikali too because I am posting on there daily and you guys I am really giving you my all I am pouring my whole heart and soul to you and just providing you with the whole hearted information that you want as you go through your spirituality journey and be sure to check out my podcast yes I know I have a podcast too it's the whole by Callie podcast and you can find it wherever you listen to your favorite podcast so with that let's get into today's video By the video title, my guess is you are here because you have a specific manifestation that you want so bad, but it's just not coming true. You're doing all the things, you are trying so hard to manifest it, but it's just not coming to you. And sis, I am here to tell you exactly why your manifestations might not be coming to you. But before we get into it, do you have any guesses? I want you to do a little self-reflection before we start because my guess is you might already know the answer, but this video is here to help guide you to really fully discover that answer and then take action steps to work through it. So really just take a second to sit quietly and think about why. Why is your manifestation that you are trying so hard to make happen not coming true? Because I've been there too, plenty of times, so many times, oh my goodness. And really, it just takes a simple shift and it comes to you that much quicker. So with that said, now that you have that in mind, let's get into the topics. Number one, you are not truly a vibrational match for the thing that you are calling in. And here's what I mean, sis. You're all talk and no action. You say one thing, but then do another. So think about it. Let's say you wanna lose five pounds, but then you never go to the gym. You still eat unhealthy, you drink in excess, and you're just not nourishing your body in a positive way. Now, not to say that you couldn't lose five pounds doing that, but that's not taking aligned action, and that's not being a vibrational match for the manifestation that you are calling in. Weight's just an easy one because that's something that is very applicable to a lot of people, but think about it. Let's say you are wanting a new career, a dog, like a new pet, or a relationship, but you are saying all these things, but you're not taking any action. You're not researching what dogs are available. You're not going on the dating apps. You're not applying to jobs. It's because you are not being a vibrational match. So think about it. Is this you? Is there something that you can shift? Can you walk the talk? Or is that, is that how you say it? Can you talk the talk and walk the walk? There you go. And can you actually say something and follow through on it? So that's number one. Number two, you are not truly and fully believing in yourself and your capabilities and trusting in the universe. You are struggling with self-doubt. You are struggling with maybe even imposter syndrome and you really are almost testing the universe. You're like, okay universe, if this is what I really want, I'm not gonna do anything and I'm like gonna let you do all the work. And you're really just not, again, it kind of comes back to not being a vibrational match. You're kind of we're like at a cross. I, I'm like breaking gears. I don't know what the right word is for that, but friction. There we go, friction. Because you aren't believing in yourself and that little voice inside your head, which is the ego, is telling you that you can't get what you want, so then you just believe it and then you stop trying. So sis, I want you to cut that out, believe in yourself, work through those limiting beliefs that come up because just know that those thoughts are not yours. They are not your thoughts to have, it's the ego, and they can be other people's opinions, thoughts, and beliefs imprinted into your own mind that we need to clear out. So remember that and work through whatever it is that you need to, to actually fully and believe, fully and full heartedly, believe in yourself and the universe and the co-relationship that you guys have to create that manifestation. Number three, you aren't fully convinced that the manifestation or the goal you have set for yourself is achievable. Here's what I mean. 
we all can accomplish anything that we set our minds to and we can all manifest literally anything. But if you start by setting the bar too high and your mind isn't fully convinced that you can actually do it, you're going to self-sabotage. So let's say that you are in college, you are working a part-time job while studying and you said, this year I'm going to make a million dollars. But then your conscious mind is like, Callie, hold on. How are you going to make a million dollars? Again, not to say it's not possible, because it is. It's more possible now than ever. But you have that little voice inside your head that isn't fully believing that. So my suggestion to you is make it convincible enough to you where it's still big and exciting, but also you're the mind, that little voice inside your mind isn't trying to self-sabotage. So maybe instead of saying a million dollars, you start with whatever you want, 500,000, 1,000, even just like a dollar. And your mind will start to believe that, okay, yep, that's actually way more attainable than the thousand dollars. And again, you can still get that thousand dollars. You just have to build up the confidence within yourself. So it kind of goes back to number two is believing in yourself and it's okay to adjust. It's okay to start small because when we get one success under our belt, our belt and then another and then another and another, we keep that momentum going and we become so much more confident in ourselves and our abilities each and every time. Number four, you're letting outside people influence your thoughts and opinions. And maybe the thing that you are trying to manifest isn't something that you actually want and it's something that someone told you you wanted. So here is a great example that I'm sure a lot of people can relate with. How many people's parents have told them that they need to become a doctor, a lawyer, a dentist, you know, the full nine yard but that's not actually what you want and yes you're trying to manifest becoming a doctor but deep down you really just want to be an architect or a school teacher so it's again friction because it's not something that you actually want and you're running into this roadblock because it's not aligned with you it's aligned with someone else and when we allow other people to influence our thoughts, opinions, and beliefs, we cloud our mind with things that are not our own. So get open and honest with yourself and be super vulnerable. Is this manifestation, is this goal that you set actually what you want? Because that can be an easy adjustment because once you get onto the aligned path of what you want, you're gonna skyrocket. So take a second to do a nice inventory check of the goals you have set and make sure that they are things that you want and no one else. Number five, you're focusing on the outcome far too much and holding it way too tightly. Here's what I mean. You're trying to focus on the when and the how when you should be focusing on the why and the what. Here's what I mean. You're trying to control when your manifestation is going to come true. So I want to achieve a thousand dollars by January 31st. Okay, what if it's January 22nd? What if it's February 10th? You know, and you're trying to focus on the how. How am I gonna get it? I'm gonna get it by getting X amount in sales, by getting into this school. Because the thing is, which we'll talk about in a second, is the universe always has a bigger plan for us than we could ever imagine on our own. So we have to be open to the possibilities because there's things that we haven't thought of yet that we can't see, that we don't even know about, that it could be coming our way. So our manifestation could be even better than what we think it's going to be. So I want you to let go of the grip of focusing on the how and the when, and instead focus on the why and the what. Why do you want this manifestation? Why do you want it? Is it going to make you happier? Is it gonna make you more fulfilled? Is it gonna bring you love? And the what, what exactly is it? Get specific, and again, it kind of ties back to number four. Why do you want it and what is it for? Is it for your greater good? Is it for your family, etc.? You get the point. Focus on the why and focus on the what. Number six, you aren't being specific enough. Here's what I mean. I want to be happy versus I want to wake up every day without anxiety or depression. There's a clear difference because happy is very subjective. Your version of happy could mean 
happy to some or could not mean happiness to someone else you want to be as specific as feels good to you so waking up every day without anxiety or depression that's very specific or maybe it's i want to step outside in the fresh air every day and be so free and abundant and really tap into those emotions so be as specific as you possibly can but again don't focus too much on the how or the when like i want to manifest a thousand dollars because that could be that's very specific but don't be too specific on i'm going to manifest a thousand dollars by only getting 10 clients because what if it comes through five clients and then x amount of sales other other in other ways so be specific but also leave room for creative possibility and number seven to tie everything up with a nice big bow which we already kind of touched on but be open to the universe because a um, better manifestation could be coming our way and you just have to allow yourself to be flexible be willing to pivot be willing to change and don't be too hard on yourself when things start to shift towards a better direction and maybe you don't notice it it's a better direction at the moment but just allow yourself to see every opportunity as a new possibility so don't get hung up when things start to not go as planned because something better could be coming along and you just don't realize it yet. All right, friends, those are seven things that you can evaluate for yourself to think about why your manifestations aren't coming true yet. Because I know that once you implement these things, your manifestations are going to come to you in exactly divine timing. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. I love you so, so very much. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below on what you want to see about next week, and be sure to follow me on my Instagram channel, at Whole by Callie, and my podcast, the Whole by Callie podcast, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Sister, I love you so very much. I'm so thankful for you, and this is the beginning of such a fun journey together, so I'm here to cheer you on every single step of your way through your journey. I love you, and I'll see you next week with love, your spiritual sister.